everybody. Welcome back to another tutorial. We are going to be doing an updated Twisted Boutique Bow video using the 7 8 inch Brilliant Bowmaker Snap Template. Uh, if you are new to bow making, this is the Twisted Boutique Bow, the um, tie-dye print. And it is a part of the overall boutique bow. So we will be making this portion today. Supplies you will need, needle and thread, scissors, lighter. You will also need, obviously, the template. And you are going to need two pieces of 24 inch long 7 8 width ribbon. This is um, a trendy owl print. I got it uh, last year. If I can find it in her shop, I will link it below. Not 100% sure. Can't guarantee that. But you will want two pieces. Um, one to give it a little bit more stability when you double layer it, but two so it hides the white back because this is not really that cute. So to start off with, make sure your ends are heat sealed. I preheat sealed mine, so we're good to go. What I do is I fold my ribbon in half to find the center. Um, you can just pinch it to crease it. I, however, like to make sure that I have a really good crease. So what I do, run the lighter over a couple times, and then I push down against the lighter just so that it gives me something hard to push down on. And it gives a nice, sharp crease. So once you have your crease, you're going to take your template and line it up with one of these two lines here. Really doesn't matter which one, to be perfectly honest. Make sure the crease lines up with that line, like so. So you should have one tail going that way, one going this way. And take the ends, bring them to the center, like so. You don't want them to overlap, so just pull it back, make sure it does not overlap because you will see it on the bow. And bring the other side up, same thing. up to the center. Now at this point you will have a figure eight. Um, at the Also at this point you need to decide how you want your loops to um, be. Most people have it to where the bottom cups the top. I however do it to where the top cups the bottom personal preference, but if you're doing it to where the bottom cups the top, you will want to take the top loop and go down first. Whichever loop, whichever either top or bottom is going to be cupped is the one that goes first. Now, for me, where my top cups the bottom, I will take the bottom loop bring it up and put it into those little indents right there. You're going to want to make sure to hold on to the center no matter what. Do not let go of this or everything will fall apart. And at this point you just check, make sure your loops are straight or even, and then hold that down. You can also do that once you push down. As you can see, my loops are straight, and then I come to the top, bring it 
around. Do the same as you did with the bottom. Make sure your loops are even. even now at this point all of your folds have been done you want to find that channel right there in the center because you are going to start sewing from the back where the ribbon goes this way is going to be the back of your bow um, I use a doll needle for all of my bows. Um, I also highly recommend using um, Coates upholstery thread. I cannot recommend this enough. This stuff you can yank on, pull, it doesn't break. So. And then I just... start sewing up. I'm using black thread. I normally use white, but I'm using black so you can see it up against the ribbon. I just start sewing up. You don't have to be particularly neat with the stitches. Um, I would recommend keeping, trying to keep them straight if you can use the uh, lines in the ribbon to help you keep them straight. Also, if you're having difficulty pushing the needle through, I use the table to push down on. So you are just going to sew up through the center of that channel. Like I said, your stitches don't have to be particularly neat. Nobody's going to see them. This is just ensuring that all of the different layers and folds stay together. Now, I would recommend tying off in the back. Hold that tight when I shouldn't have. But, so I'm going to have to tie off in the front. Tying off on the back is just easier, but um, I leave a huge, you know, the thread looped like this and to knot it off. First, I have to separate it, which it's not really wanting to do for me. <laughs> okay. To knot it off, I just take one half, wrap it around a couple of times, and pull through. Do not cut the thread at this point. Do not do it. Just leave it alone. Trust me. <laughs> Every so often I'll accidentally cut it, like I won't be thinking, and I'll just cut it. Um, you can do this if you cut it. It just makes it a little bit more difficult. So. I'm going to pop it off of the template. Of course, because I knotted it off on the other side to pull the needle through. All right, so at this point, you will have this. Now, it's up to you on how you fold. Um, you can do the accordion fold, which is the three fold. I don't do that. I 
just I prefer to fold up in the middle and then fold down on either side. Um, I don't think my bows suffer without having that additional fold. But fold as you wish. This is what mine looks like. And just wrap your thread around a couple of times. This is where the upholstery thread comes into play because you can pull really tightly and it doesn't snap. And then to tie it off, I just bring my needle underneath the center thread. Wrap the needle around the thread a couple of times. Uh, wrap the thread around the needle a couple of times and pull to a cinch. As you can see, we're knotted off. Now you can cut the thread. And you're going to want to sit here and fix your loops, pull them up, shape them, do all that kind of fun stuff. Um, I'll take mine and just do this and then bend it and kind of shape it. But that is your Twisted Boutique bow. Now to stiffen it. Um, you can lay it out in a towel. I have an old tissue box that I'm going to use just for this tutorial. Um, take a couple of these clips. As you can see, I use them for stiffening, so they're covered in the stiffener. Bring your loops up. Clip them together like so. It'll help them keep their loopiness. And then you can adjust the clips depending on how you want the loops to look. If you want them a little bit more full, put them closer to the center. And if you want them more narrow, pull them up more towards the loops. I prefer them a little bit more full. So we're going to do this. I'm going to put it in the box like so. Now I use um, Aileen Stiffen Quick to stiffen my bows. It takes about an hour to dry uh, per the instructions. I'm trying to see where it says. doesn't actually say that it takes an hour. Oh yes, it does. It says let dry approximately one hour or speed dry with a hair dryer six inches away from surface. I just let it air dry. But make sure to spray it really good so you can we go and then let it sit let it dry for an hour and then you will have a twisted boutique bow that you can add the surround spikes base bow and side bows to embellish it and make a beautiful boutique bow uh, thank you guys for tuning in I hope this helped with the updated Twisted Boutique bow. I know the one I did was a couple years old and needed to be updated. So I wanted to be able to do that now. If you have any requests for tutorials, please feel free to leave them below. Um, I do have a couple that I have planned. Um, I think the next one is going to be adding clips to bows. Um, the method that I use to add clips to bows. 
So um, be sure to tune in for that. If you are not already subscribed, please hit the subscribe button somewhere down here. Um, make sure you're the, also to click the bell and select all for notifications. If you don't, YouTube will not notify you every time I upload a video. We are currently at 416 subscribers. Once I hit 500 subscribers, I will be doing a huge giveaway. So make sure to subscribe so you can be a part of that giveaway. Um, as always, leave your comments below, leave suggestions for videos below. Thank you for tuning in and have a wonderful day. Bye.